Hello everyone and welcome back to another craft kit tutorial. My name is Colleen Hatch. I'm the assistant in Team Services and this month we are doing faux fall leaf bouquets. So in your bag you're going to get a bundle of little bamboo skewers with the edges kind of sanded down and a whole bunch of the leaves. And then you'll have the opportunity to pick one of these red vases, either the round or the square. Um, from home, you will need a glue gun. If you do not have access to a glue gun, please let us know. And you can definitely use one here at the library. So I will bring you down and we will get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I got out just enough to make one, just so we have an idea of what we're doing here. So I'm gonna take one of my skewers and I have enough in here for eight leaves per flower, so just as a baseline there. So you're going to take the flower that you want in the middle, I'm going to start with these kind of yellow and red ones, and then you're going to fold the bottom up just a little bit, maybe a third of the way, and I do it so that it is like to the back. So here's the front, oops, and here's the back. So after you fold it backwards like that, we're going to take our hot glue gun, which will hopefully reach. I'm kind of plugged in in an awkward angle here. And we're going to run a little dot of glue, or a line of glue rather. And then we're going to fold that over to secure it. Wow, that's really hot. I'm going to turn that down. All right. All right, so it'll look like that. And then we're going to start rolling it. So what we're going to do is kind of start the, for the beginning here, the flat is always on top until you get to the last three. So we're going to put a little bit of glue right here on the edge. Like so, oops, stuck there, it's all right. All right, and then we're going to put our stick there and we're going to roll it around. Now the key to this, I have found, is to keep it really tight at the bottom of the flower, but not so much at the top. Then it looks a little more like a rose, but you get a little bit of the volume that you get from, um, from wrapping it looser at the top. So every few rolls, just kind of get a little dot of glue in there just to hold it. I tend to kind of do my glue more towards the bottom just because that's where I'm trying to concentrate. Definitely anytime you get to an edge like that, a little bit of glue is a good idea. Be very careful with hot glue guns. They are hot, as you would expect. Now, when you get to an end like this, what you can kind of do is just fold it down and you can secure that with a little glue too, it's not going to hurt anything. So fold it kind of over and then put it around. That way it's not getting in the way. So a little more there. All right, and that is leaf number one. So we're going to do that same thing again. So I'm going, to do an, I'm going to do another of the same color. Fold it up a little bit at the bottom towards the back. A line of glue. Fold that back. All right. A little bit right on the edge here. And then I'm going to do it right where I left off. This is an exact science to just kind of Play around and as you do more you'll figure out what you think looks better and works better for you. I'm going to get a little glue on these edges here. There we go. Okay. And roll. Keeping it tight at the bottom, looser at the top. A little bit of glue there as we're going around. A little more to hold this edge in place. burn my fingers a little bit. Be very careful with your glue. I am not 
the most careful with hot glue gun and it, it shows when my fingers hurt the next day. All right, so again, we're at the end. I'm gonna fold this kind of down at an angle. Secure it with a little bit of glue. And wrap around and glue at the end there. All right, get some of my glue strings off and there is two. All right, now we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. I'm gonna get the glue strings off my fingers if I can here, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna do the same thing where we fold it up to make that flat edge. So that stays the same. I have found in doing this that you probably don't need as much glue as you think you do as long as you work pretty quick. So that's been good to know as I'm going around. All right, so for this one, we're doing it a little bit different. We're gonna put a line of glue right down the center of the sleeve. Like so. And then we're gonna line that up. I'm gonna dump all my leaves on the floor, apparently. I'll get that in a minute. Like that. And then we're gonna wrap it and kind of fold it to make some more folds in the petals. So I'm gonna put a little bit right here, because that's gonna to touch first. And you can see that if I fold this straight, we're going to have some overlap. So I'm going to fold over this corner just a little bit so that it stays and it creates a little more dimension in your rows. And just kind of however it falls. It doesn't have to, it's not an exact science here. We're just folding it so that it stays kind of flat. My apologies, my glue gun is just barely reaching from the outlet over there. All right, so there's that. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Just a little bit down at the bottom there. Fold that down. All right, and then we're gonna fold this to make a little more dimension to our rows. And we're gonna do a little to hold that down and then at the end here like so so there is three now we're going to do one more in that same style so fold up do your line of glue right down the middle I'm going to try to kind of put it on the opposite end that isn't quite as high, maybe. All right, we'll stick it right there. All right. And then take one side and roll it in. And then we're going to fold this down. And around. So I'm going to fold this keep that nice and tight if I can. There we go. And then down and around like so. All right. So there we go. Now that is, what, five? Yes, I think. I don't know, let me, uh, let me pause real quick, get the leaves that fell on the floor, and then we will continue. Okay, I have reviewed the tape and I have found my leaves. So I'm gonna do one more orange because that would be two yellow, one, two, two orange, three, four, five, and then my three reds for six, seven, eight. So I'm gonna do one more in that same way. Fold, glue down the middle, and then I'm going to do it right here. That's 
where all my folding was kind of happening. It's out of the way so I don't do the same thing again, huh? All right. That one I didn't quite do in the middle, but again, this is all kind of freeform, so not a huge deal. Glue to fold that edge down, and then some glue here to secure the ends, like so. A little there. And we're going to fold this down and around. Just fold. Now, for our last step here, we're going to just kind of give it a little more dimension and we are just going to put these leaves on without folding them at all and we're going to put them with the spiky side up. So, something more like that. So we're going to put a line of glue along the very bottom edge of the leaf and we're going to line those up. We're going to line them up, there we go. And then we're going to, man, I'm having trouble getting this to stick. All right, wrap around like so. So there's one. And we're going to do three. And kind of, see, I have like little points like here and here. I'm going to try to get one here too. So I'm going to put this next one where the point is going to be kind of in that empty space. Around, keep it nice and tight at the bottom. There's two. And then the third one, just kind of put wherever you feel like it should go. I'm going to put it kind of over here, I think, would be pretty. I'm also going to put it up a little higher to get a little more dimension to it, I think. A little more. I also did a little darker red then this time, which is kind of neat. and wrap. All right. And there you go. That is a completed leaf rose. Now what you'd want to do is you would want to make the other six just the same way and you can make them all the same color. You could do them, you know, red and orange or you could do them um, however you want. I kind of found that the more variety, the prettier it looked in a vase. So, all right, I will bring you back up. I'll show you my completed vase of flowers, including the one I just made. And yeah, we'll take a look. All right, so these are my completed ones. I have them in my vase and you can tell, very pretty, got a good variety of flowers there. So yeah, this a fun little fall decoration. This would be really cute on uh, Thanksgiving dinner table or in your bedroom or wherever. So yeah, hope you enjoyed and come pick this up at the wood near branch and like i said if you don't have access to a hot glue gun don't let that stop you we can definitely let you use one here at the library so that's it have a nice fall and we will see you again for the next one bye